Hello YouTube. I uh, want to make a short video today to, uh, oh and greetings from the Republic of Texas of course. I want to make a little video today. Um, I want to address a couple of things. Uh, I've seen a couple of comments on a couple of my videos talking about vacuuming the pool telling me that it's not necessary, I'm doing it wrong, you just scoop it out with the dip net and stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you why I do this because the, 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 there's a really good example of my pool right now. So we, we'll go over here and take a look. So right out there in the middle of the pool, there's some like, you know, a little bit of debris uh, or whatever. And then right over here, <clears throat> this looks like a little pile of dirt. I can't get real close and show you. But that is not dirt. If you try to scoop that up with your net, it's just going to go right through the mesh of the net and it won't get picked up. And you can just see these little pockets. That is actually mustard algae. And the mustard algae is very fine. It's, you know, it, it, it just won't get picked up by your net. And really the only option you have is to treat your water and to vacuum that up. And there's kind of a pocket of it out there, but it just kind of collects in the seams and the cracks. You can see it down there in a, in a wrinkle that I have. Over by the ladder is some more, and there's just little bitty pockets. As soon as you try to um, pick that up with your net, it's just going to, <clears throat> like I said, go right through the mesh. So you really have no choice but to vacuum that up and then backwash your filter and stuff like that. And when I talk about treating the pool, I'm about to vacuum, which is why I've got my stuff out here. What I treat with is this stuff. This is a copper algicide. Um, it doesn't take very much, once every two weeks or so. And I think for my pool, it's like, yeah, two ounces uh, to start with, and then it's one ounce, and you dilute it with nine parts of water. And that's what I use once a week, put a little bit of that in there. And it's still, you know, you still get a little bit of that mustard algae. And the other thing is you've noticed that my hoses are not uh, the whitish clear anymore. They've turned kind of yellow, and that's because of that copper algicide that I've been using. It turns the, there's a little bit of metal in the water uh, from that copper algicide, and that's why those, those turn the colors that they do. But anyway, about to vacuum the pool, get that debris out of there. But anyway, I just wanted to address uh, those, those, those two or three things and just kind of tell you why I do what I do and how I keep it clean and everything else. But this will look like a million bucks in about 10 minutes when I get done. And, and all that sort of stuff. Again, all, as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, about, about these pools, I'm not really an expert, but this is about my fourth year dealing with this stuff, so I've got a pretty good idea of how to take care of them. Thanks for watching.